What's up, what's up, Graveyard Shift family? It's your boy, Daylon. And we are clocking in for another, another shift. I just want to say thank y'all so much for taking the time to just literally watch all of these videos that I'm uploading, y'all. Y'all love it. I love it. Like, I'm never going to stop this. Like, as long as y'all keep watching, I'm going to keep rocking in and keep clocking in with y'all, y'all. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody put in the comments, what does y'all mean? I, I'm from Texas. Y'all, you all. It's a collective. It's y'all. <laughs> but here, we are in Decatur, Georgia. And this is like the, I believe it's called the Historic Decatur Cemetery. So it's supposed to be one of the oldest resting areas in the metro Atlanta area. So we're going to get right to it, y'all. I'm literally right now underneath of this big, beautiful tree. I find that we have, you know, some pretty decent success under big living objects. So, and this tree was kind of cool. But apparently this whole plot is uh, literally of one family, the Candler. And it's a lot of them. Like, they're up on a hill almost. <laughs> like, I don't know, it feels like they might have been somebody in this area or in this town back in the day. So, yeah, let's see if we can get in contact with someone. So for all the spirits that are here resting, my name is Dalen, and I'm with a group of individuals called the Graveyard Shift. And we come to resting areas all over and we try to speak to those that may have not been spoken to in a very long time. So anyone who's listening or who's ever in earshot, please feel free to come through. Again, we come in peace, love, harmony, full of respect. And uh, yeah, we would love to hear from you. So feel free to speak to us. This little box allows me to hear you. And uh, yeah, so please don't be alarmed by it. Let's get to it, y'all. Y'all, we've been having some really, really great shifts as of late. I feel like the spirits are really starting to like accept us. <laughs> so that's cool, man. This is feeling good. Forgive the wind, y'all. Can't do nothing about the wind today. Hello. My name is Daylin. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to you? I like to say helping. Can you tell me your name? No. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me your last name, please? Am I speaking to someone from this family that's in this plot right here? Can you tell me your last name one more time? No way. <laughs> I feel like with y'all, I gotta earn y'all's trust. Is that true? Okay. So it's a lot of different members of your family here. I would say it's almost probably like 50 buried here. Are y'all very close in the afterlife? Who are you with? Well, <laughs> I'm with a group called the Graveyard Shift. I promise you, we're not trying to get in your business. We're just trying to start a conversation. So... Are there members of this family that are very protective here? Who's the patriarch of this family? Who's the matriarch? A woman? <laughs> Can you tell me her name? So, it seems like to have this much land here, 
you guys may have been a very well known family. What did you guys do to gain your notoriety? Has your relatives present day, have they lived up to your expectations? Not Jack. <laughs> Should you say not Jack? <laughs> that either means they ain't lived up to Jack. Or y'all got a problem with a dude named Jack in y'all's family. <laughs> so that's an interesting concept, though, guys. That's an interesting concept. We never really ask, like, if the spirits are proud of, you know what I'm saying, of where we are today. Like, you fight so hard during your present life to set up a situation for your future gen your, your future lineage so it's kind of cool to ask the spirits are you proud of the outcome that you laid the foundation for let's see so with all of the candlers that are buried here in resting and all the work and foundation that you laid are you pleased with what your current living family is doing? Wow, they are really windy. Whoa. That got aggressive. <laughs> Can spirits manipulate the wind like that? Some. I would what does it take for a spirit to manipulate the wind like that? Okay, so back to the question. Are you pleased with what your family's doing now? Nurse that I am. Okay. So it seems like certain people have certain expectations. Maybe some aren't. Some people aren't as high. So is the entire family resting here now? Like, are your spirits able to walk around and be present here now? No. No. Get stuck. So are only a few of the family members stuck here? Forever. What are you doing? What keeps a spirit stuck here? Are some spirits able to cross over? So the Bible speaks of a time called the rapture when all those that are dead rise for judgment. What happens before this? Do you just wait in your resting space until that day? What is your existence? Is it energy? Is it a soul? What what are you? A spirit? More cold. No. Mary Ellen. No. Lee. Remember, we were at the Lee plot a couple days ago. 
So what do you classify yourself as once you transition over? Like, are you still you? Are you still a person? Is it a different version of you? Like, that you. Does it make the process way more comforting being here with your family? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Is it like a sense of honor to be buried in this section? Children. Children. Do you... Does everyone in this family, the Candler family, do you currently still get along? Usually. <laughs> what what can happen in the afterlife that would cause some type of disagreement between y'all? <laughs> If everything is happy and beautiful on the other side, yeah. not really. Not really. But are you okay? Are you in heaven? So can you still have negative thoughts and emotions once you pass on, pass on the other side? You can or can't? Okay. I know some people feel like life is hard and death should be easy. Is it? What is the hardest thing to come to grips with when you pass away? Do you have a lot of the desires that you had when you were living and cravings? Like food? We have. We have. Do you, do you like, yearn for attention and affection? Stairs. Are you able to show affection on the other side? Our doorway. How soon after you pass away are you able to contact the living? The wind is really strong all of a sudden. Like, I'm really curious. Sheesh. Like, I wonder, can spirits pick up the wind that strong? Again, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs>
about any of this. I would never profess to. I'm just asking questions, y'all. So if my questions seem out of line sometimes or out of pocket or far-fetched, I don't know. I'm just asking. Because what if there is a spirit or, okay, hear me out. Yes, it is a slightly windy day out here. Yes. But it seems like every time I get to a certain realm of questioning, an aggressive amount of wind comes, right? Could it be all of the energy from this one family with like literally 50 people buried over here? Could they be garnering up enough energy to kind of do something like that? I don't know. I don't know. This is just me thinking and asking. <laughs> but in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Do you feel like a family of 50 spirits could muster up enough energy to literally like have a big gust of wind or something like that happen. I don't know. You tell me what you think. <laughs> so family, ask me this. Tell me this. How do you feel about me and what I'm doing? No, <laughs> Does it make spirits feel good when you come talk to them? There's people been cleaning up around the graves around here, so if you hear footsteps or raking or anything, that's them. So, do you like when people come speak to you all? Like I do? <laughs> Because we're having well, a conversation? Or do you like being left alone? At what point in your resting period do people just seemingly just stop? I don't know how to ask this question. You know what? I can only be as blunt as I can. At what point does it seem like you aren't thought about anymore? If that makes sense. Because I feel like once you first pass away, of course, people come visit, people think about you, people mourn you. But at some point, people fade away, people pass away, time passes. At what point does it feel like people may have forgotten about you? But maybe not, because I guess as people start passing, you start meeting them on the other side. So it's, I guess it's a different cycle. Does it feel good to be acknowledged a hundred or two hundred years after you pass? Well, not two hundred. We well, just know that you guys are remembered in our thought of. Okay. Is okay. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to say to me? Do I want it? It said feel it and do I want it? Wow. Wow. Feel it and do you want it? Let me tell you why that hit home, y'all. And I'm sorry I'm gonna go on a rant again, but I gotta talk this out with y'all. This morning, I was really dealing with what I'm doing here. Like, I, I'm enjoying these graveyard shifts more than I could have ever imagined. And this whole concept came into my life when I probably needed it the most and didn't even know it. So I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful for my family, which is you guys that tune in every other day to watch these videos. But again, just me being truthful and me being honest, I'm battling between 
like I read your comments. It's like daily, man. Like you're you're a sensitive, or you're uh you're a, you have medium you know tendencies, and you need to lean into that. And y'all, it's just like I don't know if I want to. And that's just me being completely honest. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready because I don't know if I even. I don't know if I want that responsibility. Like, okay, I think of the movie Six Sense, right? And that's my problem. A lot of people don't know my background or my history. Like, I never had a, a background in ghost or paranormal and none of that stuff, man. And I feel like that's why you can trust what I'm doing because I was never an enthusiast. Like, I had an idea because I had never seen black people gunning, hunting ghosts. So I just did it once and videotaped it. And like five years later, a television network saw this one little video clip that I had put on the internet and was like, hey, do you want to be a black ghost hunter on TV? <laughs> and I was like, man, I'm driving for Uber right now. <laughs> man, I do anything that's different than this. <laughs> and I did it. But I went into it with the objective of being completely honest. Like, if that stuff ain't real, man, that stuff ain't real. But that stuff was real. <laughs> And I've always kind of put this wall up to where I don't allow myself to just, I don't know, I feel like go too, 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 too deep. So I feel like me having these conversations scratches that surface, but I don't know if I, I'm not ready for that door to open. And now I'm just always seeing and hearing and being aware and like, like, I, I just don't know if I want that veil to be removed. I don't know. What do y'all think? Does that make sense? And then to hear them to say, you know, feel it. And do you want it? <laughs> and it's like, I that's what I've been. That's the exact question I've been battling with is do I want that? So the people that do have it, please explain to me. What is that like? What is that feeling? What is that emotion to, to, to have that in your day to day to where you have that that access to the spiritual realm? And they're constantly talking and showing themselves. Like, to me, I feel like that would freak me out. I don't know, y'all. This is me being completely honest. So please, people that are and people that do, talk to me about it. I read all of your comments and people tell me that I help them out from doing this. I need y'all to help me out and explain to me that stuff. All right, y'all. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Sorry for the ranch. <laughs> what I <laughs> Kelly yeah. family, we're going to get on up out of here. I appreciate the conversation. Do you mind if I come back and speak to you more some other time? Come back. Please, sir. I will definitely come back. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna come back next week. I gotta go out of town this week. <laughs> but I will be back next week. <laughs> All right, Kevin, yeah, family, I appreciate you. And it's 11 11 right now. Make a wish. Did you make a wish, Candler family? Oh. All set? All right. All good. All right, y'all. Graveyard shit family. I love y'all. Peace, love, and soul. <laughs>